one important dynamic that's already starting uh, is the way in which particular left formations in Mexico are reacting to this victory. So um, Morena obviously took 53% of the vote. It's something like um, one in four Mexicans in the total population voted for Lopez Obrador. That's a staggering thing. Um, and so this is incredibly important, but there is a dynamic already within the cabinet itself among the people that I've spoken to and from outside of the campaign and outside of the government that the left parts of this coalition and people on the left outside of the coalition now need to mobilize to hold Lopez Obrador accountable, right? That it is not, that the sort of election day is just day one. Um, and so for instance, you see um, the militant teachers movement, which is based in the southern part of the country in Oaxaca and Chiapas and Guerrero. Um, they have already said that they intend to push Lopez Obrador from the left. Um, Lopez Obrador just this week said that he is sending um, a representative, an important human rights leader, um, Padre Solalinde, um, to the Zapatistas. Uh, and so he is making outreach to them. Um, so the, he has said that he wants to actually implement the San Andres Accords, which were the accords in 1996 that sort of um, between the Mexican government and the Sandinistas, which were signed but never implemented. So he is making overtures to the left and the left is already signaling that it intends to hold him accountable to try and isolate, for instance, the business class members, the right wing evangelical party that was part of his coalition. So there is a sense already that this is only just the beginning of this fight for progressive social change in Mexico, that the election isn't the end. This is really where it all kicks off. Christy.